Hey, this is Tamar signing on with another Crab's Treasure. Okay, I'm kind of doing this a little spontaneously, but I've got a bunch of things I'm juggling right now between Unicorn Overlord and Darkest Dungeon. But uh, yeah, another Crab's Treasure came out a bit ago. I'm trying to double. Okay, April 25th. So like 10 days ago as of recording. And made by Aggro Crab, um, who made uh, the roguelite going, going under, which I really liked. Um, but at another Crab's Treasure, they've been hyping this up for a while as kind of like Crab Souls. Dark Souls, but with aquatic crabs. Um, so, I've been playing it a little bit. My youngest brother, you know, saw it on Game Pass and like lost his mind and wanted to check it out. So, I've been playing that a little bit with him. But I go, I should really play this for myself. Nah, turn off the motion blur. Okay. <clears throat> um, sprint mode, hold dodge, tap sprint. Yeah. Tap would be. Would that be right? Okay. I haven't messed with these settings. Okay. Uh, we'll cut to those later. Okay. But my youngest brother's been playing it. He's having fun with it um, because of the accessibility options. My friend's been playing and actually kind of getting into it. And he's one who bounces off uh, Souls likes. So, interesting. So, I'm going to just start a new profile and we're going to start over. Because as a Souls veteran and fan, you know, I'm curious about how this goes. Neo Cascadia, Documentary Association. What word comes to mind when you think of the Earth? For some, that word might be beautiful. Others might say the world is hateful or evil or unstable or full of shit. But above Amazing all else, first opening the word line. that best describes our world is resilient. Against the odds, time and time again, creatures adapt to make the most of their given environment. Some learn to feed on others, stealing their vitality for their own. <laughs> Some become like scavengers, vampires. living off what strangers leave behind. Not good for and them. And others still, as we will soon see. Great transition. <clears throat> prefer to be simply left alone another crab's treasure go away no one's home sir please open up oh uh, you're not a bird sir are you the owner of this residence you mean my shell? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Do you like it? Be a it? shame if something happened to I it. I represent the Royal Duchy of Slacktide, which has recently annexed the territory surrounding and including this tide pool. I'm uh, here to inform you that you have outstanding taxes that date back and upwards <clears throat> of ten tides. If you are presently unable to pay this balance, the Duchy will claim you home until you... Uh, hold on. Uh, I've got some questions. First of all, uh, what's a duchy? Also, <laughs> when I saw the trailers for this game, I didn't know so this is where the story was going to go. <laughs> Slack Tide owns this whole area now, and she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. So everyone who benefits from that has to abide by her rules and pay up once per tide. There's still plenty of birds here. I don't know if it's really safe. Look, kid, I don't have time. Not to safe argue for you. Safe for her. Here. I've got a lot of tax evaders to get through. <laughs> you gotta pay up right now, or I'm gonna have to repo your property. Got it? Okay, okay. I think I've got a hard kelp or two around here somewhere. Alright, so yeah, we're playing as a little guy named Krill. And yeah, he, his home is getting repossessed. <laughs> so, didn't know that's where the story was gonna go. But, found your stash of hard kelp. Everyone loves these delicious hard kelp pods, so they're often used for trading. Eating just one of these makes you feel restored. Acknowledge knowledge. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough for taxes for taxes. <clears throat> Got it. Hey, I know it isn't much, but what the shell is this? They're hard kelp pods. Don't tell me you don't even like hard kelp. I hope you're joking. No one uses these dumb things as money anymore. The ocean's moved to trash standard now. Trash, you got it? Trash? So, like, no pearls either? 
No shiny pirate coins? That's right, none of that crap. So you better find some bread clips or some sauce packets back there. I'm losing my da darn patience. Look, if you give me a couple more tides. All right, I've heard enough. Say goodbye to your shell, idiot. Wait. That's unfortunate. Oh, crap, crab, crab, crab. Not my shell. Now my butt is exposed for everyone to see. <laughs> okay. So we only have to tap sprint. That's nice. As he does a little crab Naruto run. Agro Crab has a great sense of humor. Their Twitter is an amazing follow. Uh, anyways. You can't do this to me, man! How am I supposed to stay safe from all the birds and stuff around here? Not my problem. You want your shell back? You better go get a job and pay up. I hear they're always hiring in the reef. The reef? Isn't it super busy there? I don't want to talk to people. He's a shy buddy. Again, not really my problem. I don't care where you get the trash from, but I'll ke I'm keeping this until you do. See you later. Hold. Crab, 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 crab. Well, suppose. And we're into the water. And you know, the aquatic setting is great. This looks cool. This is so well stylized. But okay. And also, it's great that like the hover is actually like swimming for a little bit. Whoop. But so... I should have ran first. Nope, we grabbed... Ah, we had it. Okay. So here's what we got. Kind of got some climbing mechanics. There we go, we made it. Bread claw. A small chunk of plastic in the shape of a crab's claw. Maybe it has some value. Trade in for 250 microplastics. And microplastics being the currency, the soul's equivalent, is very funny and very depressing. Oh, hey, it's another crab. Excuse me, sir. Um, did you really... Did a really tall shark pass by carrying super awesome dope look a uh, super awesome dope looking shell? Work? That's what I'm trying not to do. That's why I gotta catch up with Worthless. Holy crap, what's wrong with your eyes? Have you been sleeping enough or Oh god, get get oh god, get away from me! Okay, we're in trouble. So we can't fight him, so we're just gonna move. And there's enemies everywhere. Sorry, I've well I'd say beaten, but that's not quite accurate. But I've gotten past the first major boss. So, I know where I'm going to at a certain point. Sheesh, I think I lost them. I knew the ocean could be sketchy, but I had no idea it was this bad. I guess it couldn't hurt to have a way to defend myself. This thing seems like it could do a little damage. If anyone else attacks me, I guess I'll poke him with the pokey bit. Might as well give this bad boy a few practice swings. Alright, found a rusty fork. Press RB to swing the fork. You mean a dingle hopper. <laughs> is that what it is in uh, Little Mermaid? It's been a long time. But okay. So we got our bumper slash, like in Dark Souls, same button, uh, you know, button for it. And he's even got like a little green trash scarf, which I think, you know, I assume is an allusion to Link. Focusing on enemies. Yeah, lock on. Self-explanatory. And yeah, it's Crab Souls. Hold on, I've got to make sure. I didn't turn on... Okay, the assist mode options are off. Because what is cool about this, and this is something my friend likes about it, is that they have, he has an assist mode. So he'll flip something on if he's having certain... Or, yeah, they're having certain problems. And so it's like, that's interesting, and that's a good thing to have. I'm not going to touch the assist mode things. That's just because, as a Souls veteran, I feel confident enough to not need them, you know? But, you know, my brother's been using them. My friend's been uh, flicking them on every once in a while, um, from what he briefly mentioned before. These guys feel like they're going down way faster. I felt like I, I remember having way more t a tougher time with them. Like, that first crab enemy killed me because I was trying to get used to the rhythm. Whoop. But so, yeah, having a Souls game with an assist mode like that, very good touch for those who need it. But for my sake, I'm not going to use them. But that again, that's just me, just because I actually prefer the Souls-like combat. 
what's that thing? The current the current starts to get warm warm close to this little platform. It's kind of comfy. Maybe I could rest my feet here for a little while. You know, and here's our equivalent of a bonfire. Moon snail shell found. Moon snail shells. Touch these glowing currents to restore long forgotten moon snail, snail shell, which can res rest in to restore your health. If you're slain, you'll revive the last one you stayed at, so be sure to activate every one you can. So yeah, that's what we got. This is our bonfire, where we can use our microplastics that we've collected to level up. But microplastics leveling. Yeah. Again, kind of like souls, you can either use your, you know, use those as a currency to level up or to sell for trade. There you are. Wow, you're awful persistent. I think I'm pretty, I've been pretty clear with you, kid. The shell's the property of the Duchess now. If you want it back, take it up with her, not me. My work is done here. Come on, man, there's gotta be something I can do. Yeah, now that you mention it, I can think of something. You can lick my frickin' ventral fins and stop bothering me. Later, kid. <laughs> Sorry, this guy. Okay. Yeah, okay. I have noticed the... It is a little glitchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't see your type leaving the tide pool too often. Yeah, well, I didn't have a choice. Can you tell me what's going on here? I heard there's like a duchess in charge now. Yep, sure is. Real piece of work. Takes all my hard-earned microplastics every tide just for existing around here. And what do I see for it? Nothing. Just keeps up, keeps building up her castle and hiring more, sol more soldiers to defend it. Oh, that's cool. Where can I find her? I think she has something of mine. Pal, just look around for a moment. You'll probably figure it out. Or did you miss that huge castle in the distance? Okay, great. I'll head over there. Hopefully she can get rid of my taxes for me. Oh, I see how it is. You're some kind of freeloader, are you? Bet you think you can skirt your taxes while the rest of us keeps this, this society together, do you? You just said... You hermit crabs are all the same. We're in the shells the rest of us work so hard to create with our own mantles. You ought to have stayed in your tide pool, small fry. Hey, I never did anything to you, man. Yeah, well, how about I say, how about, how's about I do something to you? This guy. Ow. Jerk. Well, he's dead. Why does everyone in this place try to kill me? The shell is even fit. All right, calm down, Krill. This is the most dangerous situation you've been in since seagull breeding season. But all you gotta do is make it to that castle, like the rude snail said. It sounds like the Duchess controls the taxes around here, so I bet the shark took my shell t to her. I'm sure once I tell her what's going on, this can all be resolved, and I can go right back to sleep. Alright, well we just murdered a guy, but, you know, he was being mean, so he deserved it, right? <laughs> so yeah, we got our... I don't know how big this is, but we're in our like first area now I didn't do much exploring around here and I don't think we should I think we should just stay on the main track because I think exploration is going to open up that when we get a little farther in so let's just focus on getting around Bloodstar limb. A severed limb of a bloodstar. Easily regenerated by most by the host creature. Collect four to increase your vitality. Yeah, so those are like our Minotaur horns, you know. Uh, use those to increase... Whoop. Okay, use those to increase our health and such. Again, we're going to avoid exploring too much. But for the right moment... Moon snail shell found. All oh, right, we should rest in it because then we, because that triggers it. And yeah, the shell collection. Well, we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, if we just keep pace for a little bit and do some stuff, we'll unlock some traversal ability after like the. I'm just thinking, well, we'll get stuff unlocked quick, and then we can start exploring and really dig our teeth into it. Hold, trespasser! By order of the Duchess, all suspicious characters are to be barred from slack tide. Suspicious? I thought I looked pretty harmless. Downright adorable. Huggable, even. I buy that plush. Perhaps you speak of the truth, vagrant, but I shan't near 
Ne'er grantest thou entry twixt these mighty gates while the thy loins remain ungirdled. Ex shucking, excuse me? Dude, take the hint. She's saying you're naked. Oh, yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. Is that important these days? I feel like society really moved on without me while I've been practicing self-care. Sure seems like it. The Duchess would have e our heads if we let you in wearing nothing but a rag. Fret not, little crustacean. Near but near it, nearby to the east lieth a repository laden with complimentary garmentry. Face the gate and turn right, and you'll find you'll find a charity center where you can get something to wear. Our captain is stationed there right now, I think. Great guy. He'll get you sorted. Sounds cool. And then you, and then you'll let me in. Assuming nothing sketchy comes in your back up in your background check. Sure. All right. Again, very funny. Okay, so just, again, trying to just tackle the main stuff before we get too off track. We get sidetracked before we, you know, tutorialize. Ah, I think we can reach that. Okay. I'm just ignoring them for right now. We'll get to it very shortly. Red claw. I never did find out what I could you you know what I could do with the uh, bread claws to actually get the microplastics out of them. But okay, we got our objective because over here, you say what is that there? Okay. Oh, I'm just looking. Okay, there's a dead person. Okay, that's just like another dead crab, huh? Face down in the ground. But okay, with that, we can wear, you know, different things as a uh, shell. Nothing I can, nothing I can get in, uh, no, sorry. Now I can get in to see the Duchess. The shell chafes like heck compared to mine. We even made this thing. Don't know how you could fit into, found a weird metal shell. Press and hold high bit hide inside your shell, reduce the damage taken. Okay, basically your shield. So you're always wearing a shield. I don't know how you can get your butt inside that, but can't get into the other shell, but okay. Well. Oh, self, lawbreaker. oh crab. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? You think yourself above the law. But not the specifically. Law is not so easily outwitted. By its strength alone. Do we rise above the beasts? Uh, I'm really sorry. I'll go to the back of the line, okay? <laughs> you should be so lucky. I'll have your head like I have these other worthless lower breakers. Uh... Okay, but with that, we have our first boss. Nephro, Captain of the God. All right, so I'm still getting used to the mechanics, but I, I've beaten a couple of bosses already. It sounds like Kari Payton now that I'm hearing it. Okay. Whoop. Ooh, he. Shoot. Dang. Okay. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to back up and I was trying to run away and I... Okay. Would you like to respond near Moon Jelly location? Okay. And what's nice is, though, they do put checkpoints right next to bosses. So, it takes a second. You died. When you were slain, you drop all your mycoplastics and your shell if you had one. In the spot where you died. Be careful when you pick them up. If you die again, well, they were still on the ground. They'll be lost forever. <coughs> okay, yeah. The Souls-like trope. But again, they also put that by the Moon Jelly, which is nice. Okay. I kind of had it, and then I got tripped up, but we'll do it again. We'll get this. I'm still getting used to the, like, flow of the game, but I get it. <clears throat> now, we were doing not too bad, and so we kind of got a mix of things. 
Hold on. Okay, unblockable attacks. Some attacks are unblockable aggro attacks signaled by the aggro symbol that appear above Krill. When you see it, you can dodge, run, jump out of the way. Okay. Bouncing cap size. Hitting an enemy with enough attacks. Okay, with their health flashes, hit them with a powerful attack such as a charged attack and knock them down to... Yeah, kind of like a Sekiro posture meter except not a huge attack, but trips them up and then they're vulnerable for, vulnerable for a little bit. I'm getting cocky. I'm gonna be so miffed at myself if I end up dying here. Shoot. There we go. Okay. Run the law Pollution scoured. That was self defense, right? Got it. That's gotta be self defense. Anyone would agree. He came at me like a crazy guy. What was I supposed to do? Shuck, shuck, shuck. Okay, play it cool. If anyone asks, he just tripped and broke his leg. And landed on a sword. <laughs> I was gonna say, I love that his sword was also like a slurpy lid and straw. Okay. So yeah, first boss. It actually took me quite a few tries to like get down because I'm trying to like learn the mechanics and the dodge. I'm not used to the dodge yet, but we're also got... Okay, hold on before I... Because let's go into here. Because <clears throat> now we actually have enough microplastics to level up. Um, and so, yeah, we got vitality, increased health, resistance, decreased damage, resistance to status effects. Okay. Shell damage prevention. Okay. Attack, increase the physical strike. So, you know, increased damage output. And misuge. Uh, enhanced damage with of umami-based attacks. What's umami? We'll get there in a bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm a, thing is, you know, I'm a warrior type, so I like increasing my physical damage. So, we're going to increase that a bit. And then shell collection. So the different types of shells we got, and each sh shell type, I've only found a few, but they got defense value. So, you know, basically their shielding value, how much damage they can take, and then weight. So... It's kind of like Mortal Shell, which is a game I also have to finish because I was really... I've not gotten too far into Mortal Shell, but I like where it's going. Where um, you can find different shells and, you know, basically like transform your character into, you know, a light model with like low defense but high mobility or a heavy model with like, you know, you get the point. So we can basically get our defenses on the fly. So if a shell breaks, we either can... Captain, the long claw of the law. You can change costume in the status menu. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that was there. I was just thinking I never ran up here. Okay. I like that. Might as well put that on. Okay, I didn't know we had... There were uh, costumes. <laughs> Uh, did you hear about the crab that went to the gym? Oh, oh. He pulled a muscle. <laughs> okay. So I think there's exploration to do, but we're not gonna go too far off the beaten path for a little bit. Okay, also apparently there's a barrier that stops us if we go too far. So... Maybe later it opens up. I don't know. Is there a map even? I've not even... Okay, there is. We can't move it, though. I think that's the dead end, though. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So, yeah. Getting used to the Souls-like mechanics of just, like, dodge rolling, and because this is a medium shell, we do have, you know, our roll's a little slow. So, getting used to the dodge timing... And, you know, the rhythm of the attacks and finding, like, the right moment to dodge. Because, like, Souls, it feels hack and slashy, but, you know, you gotta have that moment to, like, 
you know, not get too great greedy, because if you're in the middle of a action, you can't break that, or, you know, break it to do something else like dodge until that action is complete. So, like, the feeling is there, and it's what's I think is kind of funny is, um, you know, that Stellar Blade came out a bit ago. Whoop. I wonder, okay. That Stellar Blade um, also released a while ago. Uh, and so the funny thing about that is, you know, it feels like a Souls-like, but I don't, at least from playing the demo, I hear it gets better. It wasn't really tickling the right buttons for the Souls-like mechanics. And then uh, Another Crab's Treasure comes along and it kind of hits those notes way better than Stellar Blade, which is just kind of like, you know, near slash Bayonetta at home. Apparently, it's really good. Like, I want to play it. It's on my list, but, you know, it's just an observation I made. Because I wasn't kind of really jiving with how it was handling, you know, or at least how it looked like it was presenting its Souls-like mechanics. And then this comes along and, like, hits the buttons I was looking for. <laughs> that's a hyper-specific situation, but that's just me. I want my shell back. I'm so bummed out. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, jeez. Okay, like here. Now we can interact with other stuff. Banana peel. Which is a lot lighter, so now we got a faster dodge roll. But, you know, it is much weaker. You return, exhibitionist. The draped and draped appropriately, no less. I trust you spoke with the captain. The captain? Funny, I, uh, must have missed him. Missed him? Huh, that's pretty weird. Whatever, you're not nude anymore, and that's what counts. Hark! A wary vagabond doth grace our gates. Pray I would s Open the gate, Nate. You got it. Hey, I feel like there's an awful lot of violence around here. I thought the whole point of the Duchess was to make things safe. Go tell her all about it, kid. See how quickly you get kicked back to your tide pool. Alrighty. The way they look at you. I'm not even sure what these guys are. What are... Oh, wait, they're lobsters. I didn't actually take a, a good look at them. The captain takes his job very seriously and expects the same for, uh, for us all. We've been doing drills nonstop since high tide. Okay. I don't know if there's a shop or something. It's like, what do I do to... Uh, I suppose maybe later on. Okay. I don't know what you want up, want, uh, want up this tower, but no chance, Hatchling. Don't you have any more pressing matters to get in? Don't you have more pressing matters? Bleh. Whatever. Okay. Oop. Bread claw. Hey! Where do you think you're going, chum? I'm gonna go see this duchess lady. Oh, yeah? Just gonna walk in and see the Duchess, huh? What do you think we're all standing around for? A tour? Come back when you made it. Actually, do actually due to a gap in our schedule, our Royal Duchess is receiving walk-ins for the next 15 minutes. What? Oh, neat. I'll head on in then. Don't even tell the people that are in line. <laughs> Oh, I gotta press buttons. Oh, Sorry. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I uh, recently had my shell taken away, and I was wondering if there's any way we could work out some sort of a. Do you like my castle, little hermit? Your castle? Oh, um, it's pretty neat, I guess. You guess? A lot of work went into this place, you know. Uh huh. Work made possible by. Generous <coughs> Sorry. contributions from citizens like yourself. And it was worth it. Don't you think? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Look, I can find another way to pay my taxes, but for now, I'd really just like to... Even more gorgeous than the call. Sorry, I'm race, looking at something. Wouldn't you say? I've never been to... I mean, yeah, absolutely. The reefs are super overrated. Uh, everyone says so. Oh, perhaps we can work out a deal, little hermit. 
But first, I'll need something from you. Your soul! My castle still lacks a certain... panache, pizzazz, flair. Je ne sais quoi. A platoon went out on my behalf to recover something shiny and gorgeous from the cave to the west. But those buffoons haven't reported in since. Such incompetence. Climb the western tower to begin your journey to the cave. Then catch up with my platoon and help recover something. Okay, thank Whoops. you. Sorry. I won't let you down. I'll get you the shiniest thing I can. Sorry, return the trigger to me. It, it'll return the trigger within claw and we can speak about delaying your tax payments for no longer than two calendar tides. Sorry, I was scratching my arm and I moved my thumb and it hit the button. Be gone, little hermit. I tire of you. Yes, ma'am. All right, and she's like waving around like a little incense ball or whatever it is. So she totally doesn't seem full of herself or a problem. Hold on a second. I remember watching my brother go through here because I think I remember. There's like a little platforming section here. Oops. Uh. Line. Okay. A sturdy found some old string. Person named Fish only scrambling towards it. Okay. I remember like watching him try to like platform over this, and then I walked away to like go make something to eat. Um, and then I heard him screaming. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's like, what's going on? And then he's already platforming around. So, hold on. So I think she said the Western Tower, but now they got the fishing line. I think that helps. Okay, here we go. Hey, can I get by here? Does it look like it? The shipment of the fort's defensive urchins got spilled out across the hall. It really, it's really got the Dutch, Duchess up in arms. She's already executed five people over it. Whoa. Well, <laughs> I gotta get by here. Duchess's orders. Duchess's orders, huh? All right, tell you what. There's some leftover gear in the room across the hall. Okay, I got it. Just don't go blaming me if you get yourself hurt. Okay, thank you. Well, I got it. So, left trigger. I was gonna say, making the Sekiro comparison, we got like a Sekiro grappling hook now. That's cool. Ah! Not dead. Whoop. Rusty nail. Sh sharp corroded blade fit more for insects than a crab. Oh, wait. Stowaways. You found your first stowaway. Your little friend that will help you guide the status menu. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so they're like charms. So we get a huge attack bonus, but lose some magic power. But we need a higher defense bonus before we can use it. Okay, but interesting. Whoops. I missed that tutorial when my brother was playing, so, okay. So that's what they are. Equipable, like, Hollow Knight charms. We get where we're going. But, the, you know, the, the world building is very <laughs> interesting. Like, you know, just trash built into the sand. That was some straws and a piece of cardboard. Oh, this is great. Okay, shortcuts. Yeah, fishing lines, you know, that we can use to, you know, get back up to places. So that's nice. Barnacle, an immobile anthropod with a tough shell often found in our treasure. Okay, so they take up. Okay, cool. I get it. All right, so it takes up two slots that we have available to us. 
New shell discovered. We'll stick with the banana peel. Okay, I didn't equip any of those um, before. I didn't know what those did. That changes a lot, having a huge, you know, bonus right there. Okay. God, that defense bonus is going to be so good here. Okay, moving on. We. Ah. Rare. Well, and then there's some kind of poison there. So what's going on? We'll figure it out. Whoops, whoops. Tin can, but well, we haven't used. Whoops. I'm just gonna move on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 little glitchy. Okay. In an effort to recover his home, the plucky hermit crab ventures into a mysterious cave. But he quickly discovers that the return journey will be significantly more challenging. Hello? Who's talking? He approaches the ghostly figure in front of him. Okay. So we're building up into something else. So we're kind of like getting into like our next like dungeon. Moonsnail shell found. So I think this is a good part to just wrap up. So we're, we've started. We got our charge. We got him. She's giving us a mission in order to maybe get our shell back. Just thinking. Okay. Oh, right. Just checking. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. We'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, we will carry on. This is an interesting little game. Sorry, I'm backing up and moving the cat around. This is an interesting little game. The theming is interesting. Where it's going. You know, the, um, the homages and references and, you know, gameplay similarities. There's a lot of fun stuff here. So, I'm excited to see where this goes as we keep playing. Again, as a Souls fan, it's kind of hitting all the right buttons while being in this, like, friendly veneer. Um, another reason that um, the friend of mine, you know, bounces off of uh, Souls games is because the worlds are usually so bleak and depressing they just can't get into them. So... Uh, you know, this is also kind of up his alley because it's not as dismal as the other ones. So, okay, we will continue next time. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.